whether it's fruits and vegetables or meat and poultry, a lot of our food, even very natural food, it seems, contains plastic. And outside of the grocery aisles, fast food may be even worse. WBZ's Christina Rex shows us a new study that lays out the risks and what to avoid. Cheerios is billed as a heart-healthy way to start your day. But a recent consumer report study on tiny bits of plastic in our food may tell a different story. So we wanted to see, number one, are they there in the food? And number two, what were the concentrations? The nonprofit consumer organization tested 85 different food products for the plastics known as phthalates, and the results were concerning. Of the 85 different products that we tested, only one had zero phthalates in them. The so-called heart-healthy Cheerios from General Mills had nearly 11,000 nanograms of phthalates per serving. However, it was far from the worst offender. Many fast foods wore that crown. Burger King's Whopper with cheese had more than 20,000 nanograms. And Wendy's crispy chicken nuggets had nearly 34,000 nanograms per serving. We also say reduce or totally avoid fast food because in our article it shows that the fast food was particularly high in plasticizers. A meal typically eaten by children actually topped the list. Annie's organic cheesy ravioli, another General Mills food, had more than 53,000 nanograms per serving. In a statement, a General Mills spokesperson told WBZ, food safety is our top priority at General Mills. We review the ingredients and packaging we buy and the companies that supply them on a regular cadence. The products test by consumer reports were within regulatory requirements. Plastics are, are really everywhere in foods. Dr. Philip Landrigan is a professor at Boston College. He researches chemicals found in food. He says these chemicals that leach out of plastic containers and bags have the potential to be extremely harmful to your body. The phthalates uh, are, are chemicals that have the ability to disrupt endocrine function. They can, uh, they can cause toxicity to the liver, which in turn changes levels of cholesterol and other lipids in the serum, and they push up rates of heart disease and, and stroke in the American population. If it's affecting people's uh, health and hormones and there are other options, then they, you know, companies probably won't be incentivized to do anything unless there's rules. Rules that are not in abundance when it comes to plastics in the U.S. More than 80 percent of the chemicals in, in commerce today have never been tested for safety or, or efficacy. We're, we're basically, we and our kids are surrounded by chemicals whose hazard is simply not known. That's why we have called on the FDA, for instance, for a total ban of any phthalates or phthalate uh, substitutes for these plasticizers, just ban them. Still, there are a few things you can do to minimize your exposure. What we want to do is urge consumers to try to reduce your exposure by not eating as much processed foods. One very proven effective way to minimize exposure is to eat organic. Don't microwave your food in plastic containers. Don't even store them in plastic containers. Use glass. We reached out to Burger King and Wendy's, but we did not hear back. Now, the FDA says it's aware of the issue and noted that phthalates are not authorized to be directly added to food, but some can go into food packaging and food contact applications. The agency is asking manufacturers for more information on how these chemicals are being used. For more info, you can head to our website, WBZ.com. Christina Rex, WBZ News.